and see me for that purple sour, purple sour, purple sour, purple sour. Hey, Dave, I'm from the guys, Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. We're going to be taking a look at Black Afghano from Nasamato today. And I know there are a ton of reviews on this fragrance. When I started reviewing, I made a list of scents that I felt like I had to review. Aventus, Jubilation 25, Dior Homme, Pure Molt. And even if there's been a hundred reviews on these fragrances, I'm thinking maybe I can help bring something else to the table. Now, the first batch of niche scents that I ever bought was from Lucky Scent. And in it were this, uh, Back to Black, Jubilation 25, Sushi Imperial, and Juniper Sling from Penhaligans. And right then and there, I knew that this was a scent that I wanted to own, namely because I enjoy darker scents, and it smelled nothing like I had anything else that I'd ever smelled before. But I also wanted to check out the entire line and decided to purchase my first Nasamato scent in the late spring. And Black Afghano just wouldn't have really worked then. So I decided to go with Absinthe first and then plan on picking up China White uh, this coming spring. But for the colder weather, I knew that I either wanted Black Afghano or Pardon. The only scent I haven't smelled from the house yet is Doro. And I do plan to check that in the future. So about a week ago, by the way, I went through a second decant of this after um, getting from Lucky Scent. I bought a 4ml of it uh, and I finished that not too long ago. So I feel like I know this scent pretty well. So I went to Barney's uh, this week, which is one of the few retailers in New York that sells uh, Nasamano. And I decided that I was either going to walk out with Pardon or Black Afghano. But Barney's was out of Black Afghano. And unbelievably enough, the only place in New York City that I was able to find uh, Black Afghano was a pharmacy in Chelsea called New London Pharmacy. Now, just so you guys know, from the outside, I think it's on like 23rd and 8th, it looks like a really nondescript regular New York pharmacy. But inside, it's a great place for fragrances. Aside from the whole Nasamano line, uh, they also carry Itat Libra, uh, Creed, DS and Durja, Aramance, Aqua de Parma, uh, Histoire de Parfum. So definitely check them out if you're ever around 23rd. It's a great, great spot to look at niche fragrances. Now, before we talk about the fragrance, let's talk about Nasamato again briefly. If you want more info, you can, of course, of course, watch the video that I did in the spring on Absinthe. But basically, this is a very mysterious house that was started by two Italian friends who were working doing fragrances for Diesel in Germany. And after 18 years of working for other houses, they formed their own house in Amsterdam in 2008. And the name Nasimato in Italian means crazy nose. And this house has gotten its fair share of media attention uh, by releasing Black Afghano. There had been rumors that there was real hashish in it. And this juice, as you can see, is pretty much pitch black. They don't give out samples or list notes. So all this is combined to form this sort of very positive, mysterious aura around the house. And the niche crowd and Freycom really gobbled this scent up, thankfully. Uh, as of recent, they've gotten some attention for other scents in the line. This isn't a one-trick pony. Uh, they do great scents for women as well as men, and they're all very different and have really cool sort of edgy names. Now, for those of you who don't really know what Black Afghano means, well, Black Afghano refers to a very potent strain of hashish from Afghanistan. And hashish is sort of a sticky black or brown gummy substance that's made from marijuana plants. Mainly what happens is the stalked resin glands um, are clumped together and made into uh, like a clay-like substance. And you can put it in a bong or a pipe and smoke it or make little bowls out of it and add it to joints or blunts. And while I used to indulge in those sort of activities, I, I stopped about five years ago, but I smoked a lot <laughs> in college and high school. I mean, you know, Cartoon Network, Critical, Nutnicks, uh, 152 Knockout, uh, all that Washington Heights, Hayes and Pude. Anyone who knows what I'm talking about knows what I'm talking about. But back in the day, me and my friends would get hashish. We were really thrilled because it was really hard to get in New York. So Black Afghano is where that name comes from. Now, as far as pricing goes for this, it, it's... Pretty much in line with usual Nasamato scents. They run 165 for 30 ml. They are perfume extract strength. 
And uh, even though they're expensive, they're really highly concentrated and usually just give you great longevity and projection. This one goes for $185, probably because there were more expensive natural ingredients used. Uh, it's not the easiest fragrance to find online. You can usually get it from Lucky Scent and a few other sites. And you can, of course, get samples from my my uh, favorite decan shop, decanshop.com. And if you're in New York, Barney's does carry the line. They don't have black Afghano in as of right now. Uh, I think uh, New London Pharmacy has three more bottles when I was there. Now, as far as your presentation goes, it's pretty much a pitch black box. Uh, there is some writing on the back that says this bottle, the bottle of perfume is part of the Project Nasa motto. The fragrance aims to evoke the best qualities of hashish. It is a result of a quest to arouse the effects of temporary bliss. And then inside you have a sleeve for your bottle and you have a travel cap. Uh, on the side is where you have most of your information. This is made in Italy. Uh, and you have your ingredients. Bottle is a really, really beautiful, well done bottle. Uh, it's black. It has the concentration and amount right there. Um, it has this uh, beautiful wooden black top that just pops off and it has a pretty nice atomizer. As my man Steven would say, it's not the best atomizer in the game, but it's definitely going to do for you. So I really like the presentation. I think it's simple um, and I think it's really elegant. I'm a fan of it. Uh, now, Nasamato doesn't list their notes ever, but it's pretty much assumed that the notes in Black Afghano are coffee, oud, tobacco, and hash. Some people online have said they pick up a coconut fresh out of the shell. Some people said they pick up chocolate. And we'll talk more about that when we get into the actual review of the fragrance. For the record, uh, this one was released in 2009. And for me, at least, you should know right off the bat... This is one of my favorite, if not favorite niche fragrance of all time. I love this stuff. To me, it's deep, it's dark, it's dank, and it's got those this beautiful forest feel to it. And the black color juice here really reflects the tone of this fragrance. It is by no means a gimmick, it is the truth. The image that this fragrance, fragrance conjures up, for me at least, is think about going on a journey, maybe in the middle of the woods, uh, you're lost, it's night out, it's pouring, you've got wet leaves on the ground, there's wet trees and wet soil all around you, and in the rain you're looking for any sort of shelter, you stumble across a cabin, you knock on the door, and there's some sort of hippie older man in there who invites you inside. He's got a pot of really strong coffee on the stove, and he's ripping on a bong filled with primo hash, and he passes it to you. That's what black afghano smells like to me. I know it sounds a little crazy, but that's the best image that I can conjure up to sort of describe the, what comes to mind when I smell this. Surprisingly to me, though, this is a fairly linear fragrance, and I actually like that because I love the opening in this fragrance. That hashy oud opening at the beginning is just a match. Uh, there isn't anything else like this. There are a lot of dark oud fragrances out there. Montal ha has sort of made their name doing that. But Nasamana has slaughtered everyone when it comes to a dark oud scent. I think they've just done it better. And that touch of burning hashish caps it off beautifully. Now, no one knows whether or not there's actual hash in this. I would have to say no because if anyone... In the uh, you know in the in the um, governing fragrance uh, industry, uh, got nosy and decided to test the fragrance and detect the THC in it. Now, that's a model could blow everything they've built. Plus, if there's anything the fragrance industry has taught us, it is really that something synthetic is usually better than natural. So I think they found a way to sort of replicate that hashy smell, and they did a really good job with it. It's linear. But as it dries down, I think the hashish comes out even more, and you're left with what a room might smell like if there was a lot of good hash smoked in it. And to capture that's quite remarkable. And you you uh, have to worry because that could easily be hokey, and that's what I thought it might be at first. You know, like something that could be sold at a place like Spencer Gift, oh marijuana perfume or cologne. But Nasa Mato did it really, really fucking elegantly. So that this scent smells really sophisticated and mature. They just did a great job with that. I think it's totally unisex. In fact, one of my female friends, uh, Alexandra, who has her own fashion showroom, discovered this a few weeks ago and loves it. I think, me personally, I think it might work better on a man, but if there are females who could definitely pull it off, I think you should go for it. Uh, you probably do have to watch where you watch this scent, wear this scent, because it is sort of dark and sort of illicit smelling. Would I go to a meeting with my human resource uh, department and my company wearing this? Probably not. <laughs> could you get away with that on a slow day at work? Probably so. My point is that I don't think it needs to be Halloween for you to take out Black Afghano. 
I feel the same way about Encre Noir, and this scent is sort of in that same vein, except obviously Encre Noir, Noir is more about vetiver, and this is more about oud. Now, uh, you might not want to wear this too often because it's so damn expensive. I mean, if you do the math, if Nasamato was ever to offer 100 ml of these, they'd probably be around $450. So it's very expensive, more than almost anything out there, except some of the Zero scents, uh, but it's well worth it, you know? Often with wine and spirits like um, cognac and, and, and rye and, um, and, you know, really good wines like Bordeaux, the deeper and darker that a type of uh, spirit or wine looks, the more complex it is. And with this fragrance, uh, that's the case, sometimes the case as well. It certainly is here. I've certainly come across crystal clear fragrances that have a lot of complexity to them, but I personally really don't think it's a coincidence that Black Afghano is basically a black fragrance and you get this gorgeous, gorgeous depth. There's just so much to explore within it. The other day I was picking up a hash brownie sort of accord with some dark chocolate near the end of the dry down. Uh, I do think for the record, one spray and be done with this. You guess you could do two if it's really cold out, but I think one's perfect. This is a scent that's really going to challenge your nose. If you're the type of guy who just wants to wake up in the morning, spray on their cologne and smell good, then keep walking. But if you're the type of guy who likes exploring and refining their senses, and you drink, you know, Chateauneuf de Pop wine, and like having deconstructed dishes at restaurants that have tasting menus, and you like chefs like Wiley Dufresne or Sam Mason, then you'll love this. Because this is as much a puzzle as it is a fragrance. As you can already tell, I think that Nasamato and Alessandro Gautier, Gautieri uh, did an absolute stunning job here. And thankfully, Nasamato turned out, as I said before, to be more than just a one-trip pony. I definitely will also be reviewing Pardon and at least China White in the future. It's said that Nasamato has a cult-like following and that some stores you have to go on a waiting list for this fragrance. And normally, shit like that doesn't live up to hype. For me, at least, Black Afghano Afghano did. I think it's a 9 out of 10 fragrance. Uh, there were three things that I, I do take issue with it, but there's arguments for all those three things. It's A, is it's pricey, but you can't put a price on art. You know, this isn't a Creed fragrance that Olivier Creed dropped double vacationing in San Tropez. I love Creed, by the way, so no shots taken. This is different than that, though. It's also sort of hard to get your hands on, but that's tough shit. If you want it, you'll get it. I did. And the third thing you could say is it's not very versatile, but a lot of the best things in life, um, the real luxury items aren't that versatile. I mean, you're not going to use a Lamborghini Gallardo to go get groceries. Well, some people might, but I won't. But that doesn't mean that its achievement shouldn't be celebrated. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but uh, I knew when I sampled this back in January that this was special juice. I knew it was going to change the way I thought about fragrances, which it has. And I'm really happy that I went out of my way to find Black Afghano. It will always have a place in my collection. No matter where I have to go to make that happen, I will. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this review. Again, you can get um, samples of this from decanshop.com. So if I piqued your interest and you don't want to splurge for the whole 100 ml, the whole 30 ml at 185, definitely check out Decan Shop. Uh, coming up next week, we have an episode of Sample Shopping I'm going to shoot tonight, and we will have another great niche fragrance review. I promised you heavy hitters in December, and through the end of the year, guys, heavy hitters. I don't bullshit. You know what it is. Maximilian must know. The gas mask back in 94. I used to add hash. Now it's mad cash. Mad smoke. Mad hot. Niggas laughing at the bad jokes. I get that medical. Medical them lab coats. Niggas think they pulling strings. I hang on back ropes. This that crack dope. We call it purple sour. Don't hit this iPhone after working hours. Uh huh, you know what it is. Every time I roll a joint, I roll it big. Uh huh, nigga, no joke.